In February of 1989, the skeletal remains of an unidentified individual were found on Chuckanut Drive near Bow, Washington. Bow is a rural community between Seattle and the Canadian border in Skagit County, Washington. The Skagit County Sheriff's Office responded to the scene and began collecting evidence and investigating. They determined the remains belonged to a man who was wearing a gray, blue, and red plaid long sleeve shirt, Levi's blue jeans, a leather belt with a small silver buckle, and socks with red rings when he died. Near the man's body, investigators later found a gray and blue jacket, an unknown brand of tennis shoes that were likely white with blue stripes. They also found a gold-colored watch. Investigators determined that the man was likely white, about 5 foot 9 inches tall, and was likely 20 to 50 years old. Foul play has been ruled out in his death. Despite a lengthy investigation, the man could not be identified and became known as Bo Doe. Details of the case were entered into the National Missing and Unidentified Person System, a.k.a. NamUs, under UP13903 in May of 2015. Recently, the Skagit County Sheriff's Office and the King County Medical Examiner collaborated to submit forensic evidence to Othram in the Woodlands, Texas, to determine if advanced DNA testing could help identify the man. Othram scientists successfully developed a DNA extract from the provided evidence and then used forensic-grade genome sequencing to build a comprehensive DNA profile for the man. Othram's in-house forensic genetic genealogy team used this profile in a genetic genealogy search to develop new investigative leads that were returned to law enforcement. Using this new information, a follow-up investigation was conducted leading investigators to potential relatives of the man. Reference DNA samples were collected from a relative and compared to the DNA profile of the identified man. This investigation led to the positive identification of the man whose family has been notified. They have asked that the man's name not be released to the public at this time.